Sean, they've just removed the pickup truck from the scene here, but you can see that tractor trailer remains blocking a section of Route 9. Now, state police is leading the investigation into this accident, and they say it's definitely too soon to say why this happened. It was about 8.40 in the morning, though, when the pickup truck heading east collided with the tractor trailer, which was heading westbound. Police say that there were just the two drivers involved. Both were taken to the hospital. Now, the driver of the pickup subsequently passed away. The driver of the tractor trailer suffered what was described as minor injuries. The accident shut down a section of Route 9 in Barrington for some three hours so far as the accident reconstruction team worked to find out what happened. Now, the crash occurred right outside Bill Goudreau's living room. He asked that we not show his face. Well, I was sitting in my chair having coffee this morning and I happened to be glancing out the window and a truck was heading east and one was heading west and they hit head on. One was a truck, the trailer, one was a pickup, as you can see. I don't know if the pickup truck was trying to take a left up the Ransdell Lane. Now, while the investigation is incomplete, police think that that may indeed have been what happened. Goudreau says while he has noticed an increase in truck traffic uh, recently in the past few years, the fire chief and police chief here in Barrington both say this is not known as a dangerous stretch of road. Now, state police say they should be able to release some more information later this afternoon, including the name of the victim. Reporting live in Barrington, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.